Hey guys, my name is Johnson. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be talking about doing a skincare routine that I do once a week on Sundays. Um, so we're going to start off right away. What I do is just wash my face. I use Clarisel and I just basically rub it all over my face where I think I might have a breakout or just to maintain a clean antibacterial face for what I'm about to do in this video. So after hand washing my face, I use this little exfoliator that I got on Wish. This one is so cute, it's so handy. It takes off all products that I have on my face once you combine that with a cleanser or a wash that you might have around. Okay guys, so the next step that I do is I rub this Noxzema cleanser all over my face and I use this wand that I got on Amazon. Um, I'm going to have a similar product like that on my website soon, so just keep an eye out for that. Um, so as you see me, I'm going to be rubbing that product all over my face like that, like so. Now that your face is full of the Noxema product, what I like to do is I just wait a couple minutes and just rinse my face off with the exfoliator and warm water and just wash off all the product that I have on my Okay guys, so the next step in the routine is using this face mask from Belli. I got this mask from my manager for Secret Santa. What it does is it balances your pH in your skin, makes it brighter, firmer, and removes any impurities that you might have in your skin. I really do recommend it because my skin has done wonders. What you're going to do with it is just rub it all over your face, get it into all the small little crevices that you might have. I take my time with it because my skin is very important to me.
Okay guys, so you're gonna wait about 15 minutes for the mask to dry and you're gonna rinse it off with the exfoliator again. You want circular motions all over your face, making sure you take off all the product. You don't want any residue left over. As you can see, the product is working as intended. My skin is feeling brighter, livelier. It's not dull anymore. said earlier you want to wash off all the product that you have on your face later on it might get a little bit messier in your bathroom you don't want to have any dark spots laying around the next product that I use is the Kylie skin toner it's not part of my regular routine but I use it once in a while to tone my skin like today just remove off any extra product that I had from before and just leave my skin feeling really good. I don't really use Kylie Skin products. This was a gift from my cousin, but this one is actually doing the job really well and I like the scent that it has, Vanilla Milk Toner. Yeah, don't be afraid to double dip and just go over once again. There might be some leftover products from earlier, like I said, from the face mask. The next product that I use is this Youth Hyaluronic Acid. I put at least three dots all over my face. And then I use my index finger and ring finger to rub out the products circular motions i focus really try to focus under the under eyes and under the crow's feet and my forehead because that's where my wrinkles are but generally i just rub it all over my face and around my lips but you could do where the problem areas are for you Okay, so the next step is using the Steli Cosmetics After Dark Face Melt. I swear by this product. I reuse it religiously every day. It keeps my skin moisturized, hydrated, and it's all natural. You will have no blemishes, no breakouts, nothing. I swear by this product. You have to go buy it right now. The next and final step in my routine is just brushing out my beard. I use this comb from my website. It's wooden and it's double-sided for fine and long thick hair. I just like to brush it out before I apply any product into it. It makes my hair neater and makes the application of the beard oil much smoother.
So here we have the Steli Cosmetics Lumberjack Beard Oil. I take a small amount of this and I just put it on my beard directly like so. And I also apply some of it towards the front of my scalp where I'm having some hair loss issues. That's what I do. Okay, so what I like to do next in my final step is just dip the Morphe eyebrow brush in the Selly Cosmetics Lumberjack Beard Oil and go over my brows with them. It shapes them and it gives them the fuller looker look while also giving it shine and makes the brow hairs grow thicker like it would to my beard. I learned this little trick from my good sis Ariani. Thank you, smarty. <laughs> She's so smart, guys. Okay guys, the last and final step is just to brush out your beard with this wooden brush from handsomepal.com. I sell online men's accessories and men's products. Make sure to check us out. If you like this video, make sure to follow me on my social media at Camille or John on Instagram. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace out.